Hi, I'm David Dodge for Green Energy Futures. This week we revisit one of our most popular subjects, the net zero home. Its popularity makes sense. Who wouldn't want to be energy independent, save money and help out the environment? We headed to the home of Bob Heath to meet up with two net zero home pioneers and to explore the latest and simplest iteration of the net zero concept. Simplicity is a key factor in building a more affordable home that produces as much energy as it consumes. Well, when we first started talking about this uh, with, with, the, with the federal minister of the day uh, and about a, a demonstration program across Canada, he asked me, he said, can you guarantee that we can build net zero energy houses? My response was, yes, what the real trick is, can we make them affordable? That's Simon Knight, the CEO of C3, formerly known as Climate Change Central. He's also a director with the Net Zero Home Energy Coalition. In 2008, the Riverdale Net Zero House was the first built in Edmonton, and it took a team of 45 people to make it. Well, the first prototype we built in Edmonton, when you went into the mechanical room, it was similar to walking onto the Starship Enterprise. Uh, it was very complex, um, with hot water systems and solar systems and, and PV and, and thermal. Um, and variety of other technologies built in there. So, when we fast forward to Bob Heath's home in 2013, we're talking about simplicity itself. While both houses were super insulated and very airtight, the mechanical room in Heath's home features an electric hot water tank, a heat recovery ventilator, and not much else. They can get away with such simple systems for two big reasons big south-facing windows and a thermally massive concrete floor. We're collecting a, about 50% of the space heating for the house through the windows, totally passively, but then of course that leaves the other 50%. And where does that come from? So the backup heating for the house is electric baseboard heaters. It's 1,900 square feet with a 500 square foot basement suite and it cost about $500,000 to build this custom home. It was Peter Amarongan who built both the Riverdale Net Zero House and Bob Heath's home. Getting pretty close to a formula that we can apply. We're, 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 uh, and there are other builders, uh, particularly here in Edmonton. We're, Edmonton is leading the country, really, uh, without a doubt. Together, we're, we're figuring out how to make this a little less expensive. It's always going to be more expensive to have more insulation and a better, better building envelope. But... There's a case to be made with, with the reasonable increases in energy prices that a net zero energy house is, is the most economical investment you can make. It wasn't long ago that green architect William McDonough said that when it comes to buildings, we're still at the stage of the Wright brothers. And what we'll see in the future will be amazing. Perhaps amazing's on its way. Net zero homes were but a concept in 2007 and already at least one builder is ready to make every home it builds net zero by 2015. Well, I think one of the things is when you see builders like Landmark, you see um, uh, uh, developers talking about it on uh, a national scale, then you're actually talking about the kind of transition that you've been working towards for a very long time. Off the shelf net zero within two years. Evolution of net zero or the revolution of net zero, you decide. But even while net zero is still a work in progress, Simon Knight is already looking beyond net zero homes to the future. Some of the commercial buildings and some of the home buildings, where we're going, actually going beyond net, net zero, where the buildings themselves are putting excess power into the grid. Um, they're actually being restorative. They're actually cleaning the air that they're, that's coming into the building. So in the future, our buildings will be helping to improve our environment rather than being a cost to our environment. As net zero becomes cheaper and cheaper and simpler and simpler, expect to see more of these homes in a neighborhood near you. To learn more about Peter Amarongan's journey as a net zero home builder, head to greenenergyfutures.ca. We've also got photos, a blog, and a podcast to boot. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.